Hi, I'm Jimmy O'Brien, and I'm going to talk to you about agricultural pollution. So where do we see the most agricultural pollution? Um, typically anywhere rural, and it makes its way through watersheds down into like bigger bodies of water, like the Chesapeake Bay in the Gulf of Mexico. Chesapeake Bay gets 42% of its nitrogen from <coughs> agriculture, 55% of its phosphorus from agriculture, and 60% of its sediment. That is from the Chesapeake Bay Program, which is a foundation that's founded basically on implementing and making sure that the bay gets cleaned up throughout the next 10 or 15 years. Um, some sources to the Gulf of Mexico that we have from agricultural pollution. The biggest is nitrogen, and 41% of that, as you can see here, comes from farm fields, which is agriculture. And the rest of it is from other various areas, but by far the biggest is agricultural areas. That is from the USGS. So the first thing you need to do is identify where agricultural pollution comes from. Um, it's caused as a non-point source pollution. This means that there's no possible way to really pinpoint exactly where the pollution comes from. It's more of a diverse area. And it has some effects, very immediate effects, as well as compounded issues once everything adds up together. So some causes of agricultural pollution that we have are actions, basically spreading pesticides, fertilizers, which are high in nitrogen and phosphorus. Pesticides specifically have higher levels of chemicals. Over-irrigation of the croplands is another big issue because it washes everything off into the streams, as well as erosion, because as you till croplands, they become less stable, water gets into them, rain events happen and erodes into the nearest body of water. So now we're going to go into some reactions that happen from this. <clears throat> so this is from the USGS Sparrow model. Um, it's basically a watershed, as we can see here, delineated by the higher boundaries. And then we have wastewater discharges, urban runoff, and stuff. But what we're focused on for agricultural pollution is a cultivated land runoff. And what happens is when a rain event happens, the water hits the area of agriculture. And that water needs to find its way to a body of water. So we were to say this is the Chesapeake Bay. This agricultural land would run into the body of water, all your phosphates, nitrogen, chemicals, fertilizers, sediments, everything comes into this stream and ends up in the Chesapeake Bay. Now there are some big <coughs> issues that are associated with this. Um, decreased water quality is one of them, chemical pollution and erosion. Now when we have chemical pollution, obviously it's not good to be in the water supply for human safety as well as wildlife safety. The decreased water quality is when you are adding stuff to the water that actually makes it unhealthy at all for anything to live in. And the erosion comes from the tilling of the lands and the work sediment moving off of fields. When these issues compound, we see eutrophication of lakes and bays and oceans, such as the Gulf of Mexico and Chesapeake Bay. We see stream bank erosion because a stream wants to have a certain amount of sediment in it. So when the agriculture erodes into the stream, it increases so it deposits its sediment. Well, then it still wants to pick up more sediment. So the next bend, it will take more sediment and different soils and stuff off of the next stream bank. And then this in turn causes flooding because it alters the stream depth, width, and the amount of water that rolls through the area. These are my references. And I hope now you understand why we need to control agricultural pollution better. Are there any questions? Thank you.